Hi guys, so for today's video, we're doing a haul and I have a few things from Walmart, from Amazon, from TJ Maxx, and I have an order from Spellbinders. Yeah, that's what it's called. So let's do everything else first and then we'll leave Spellbinders for the last because that's my favorite. So let's do um, Walmart first. So here I found a few things, just the, uh, little things that I've been wanting and I hadn't been able to find. So here I finally found some, um, they're called reinforcement labels, but they're the, the what are they called? What are they called? Those little whole, <laughs> ay, 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 what are they called? The, the whole reinforcers, duh. So I finally found some and I had been looking for these forever and I don't know why, I just had a hard time looking or finding these. But anyways, I got these. These are a quarter inch diameter, 924. So these are gonna last me a long time, but I am going to distress these and maybe stamp all over them and everything just so that they won't look so white. So I got those. I found these and I thought that these were really cute. They keep coming out of the package, but they're just little safety pins. There's 80 pieces, but they're all black. And I thought these might be cute to maybe add to some of my journal pages and I love that they're black. And so they do come in two different sizes. And so I just thought that they would be really cute because they're black. But anyways, I just thought, you know what? Maybe I'll just go ahead and get them. They were cheap. I don't remember how much they were. I don't have my receipt with me. But um, they were in the sewing section. And so I got those. I found these. And these are... Um, they're called favorite findings. But if you remember, I found a smaller pack of these and they were, um, I don't remember how much they, how many there were, but they were, they were just a few of them and they didn't have all of these different ones. And they were, they're just plastic gears. And there's so many in here. And I believe this was only like $5. And I had mentioned before that I really like these because of the fact that they're plastic, even though they look like they would be metal, but they're so cute. And look, they kind of have like that steampunk look to it. And these are actually buttons. So it has the hole in the back, but look at the little gears on the heart. Is that cute? And so they have a bunch of different ones. So here's the clock and just different gears, which I thought were really cute. And I like these because they're plastic and because they're so lightweight. So if I wanted to add them into my projects, they're not gonna weigh anything down. So I thought this was a really good find. And for five bucks for all of these, it doesn't say how many, does it say? Uh, no, it just says 70 grams. Oh, and it is steampunk style. <laughs> there you go. But I just thought that these were really cool. And they do have like that brassy, no, that bronzy finish to it. So I thought these were really neat and can't beat the price. So again, you guys, always whatever store you're looking in, always look, you know, for different things that you can use for crafting. So there's that. Okay. Then, of course, I know that I've hauled these before, but I got another pack because I love them so much. I think they're so cute. And they're just little buttons because I already bought the paper pack from Stamperia. The, I believe it's called... What is it called? Stitches or something? I forget. But I bought another pack of these because they're super cute and I want to use them for my sewing journal. I found these. These were $12. Oh, $12. These were a 12 pack of paper bags for, I believe, a little over $2. And so I thought that was a really good deal. And, ooh, these are a lot sturdier than I thought. They're a lot thicker, but I thought these would be good for two things. You can use these in your um, journals as an actual little pocket. They're such good quality. They're really, really nice. And otherwise, I can use them in my packaging when I send out my 
um, orders on my Etsy shop. And so I thought these would be kind of a good idea. So I went ahead and I got three of those. They're only two bucks. So there's that. Now with these, I had been wanting these green file folders forever because I keep seeing ladies using these, um, cutting up the actual, let me see if I can get this open, to cut them up and using them as the, um, as covers for like their projects, like little travel journals or something like that because it, it, this paper is so sturdy and I love the color green that, they, that they've that they been using. And of course, you know, the ladies, they've been using what they've been thrifting. And so I was like, ah, oh, I can't seem to find any. And, you know, I really like that old, you know, that old look to it. But I thought this green is a really pretty one too. And it's really nice. It's a little bit thinner than cardboard, but it's really thick. And I got this whole pack I believe for five bucks. And this one, let me see how many does it have? It has 12 and they are letter size. And so I just thought, you know what? Cut this part out or maybe not even, maybe if I can see if I can unglue, oh no, can't. I was gonna say that would have been cool if I could just kind of, you know, pull this little hook thing out, but no. But either way, I just think that this is, this is really cool paper to kind of do um like a little junk journal or maybe an insert or what do they call the signatures or something so i just i just really wanted it for my stash so i thought that was cool uh let's go into that's it for walmart let's go into my um tuesday morning so i found these i needed more thank you cards and of course if you guys have seen other hauls of mine i really like Raydon. I'm not obsessed, but I like it. And I found these cards, these thank you cards, and it's just a, a set. So it's got the cards, the envelopes, and the thank you stickers. So I just thought that this was really cute. I got it for $4.99. So you get, uh, does it say how many you get? 12, 12 cards, envelopes, and stickers. So I just thought that this was really cute. So I got that. Now this is something I had been wanting. I actually, okay, so it's a flower. Let me tell you what it is first. <laughs> I kind of get a little ahead of myself. So sorry if I'm talking too fast because I just get so excited. But this is a flower press kit. I had been wanting one of these because if you guys have seen some of my projects, I do press and dry out some little flowers. I try to always have a bouquet of fresh flowers in my entryway. And I just love the way it looks. And so they'll last me maybe for a couple weeks at the most. And so when they always have some little type of flowers um, and towards the end, when I see that they're starting to get ready to die, <laughs> then I'll clip those off and I'll put this in this huge, I'll put them and I'll press them in this huge uh, dictionary that I thrifted. And, you know, a lot of times they don't get as pressed as I want them to be. And so, but I found one at Target. And the one that they had, I think it was, um, what is it called? The, the Joanna Gaines um, stuff that she has at Target. It was one of that. It was one of theirs. And it was pretty expensive. And I said, I, I want one, but I don't want to spend all that money on that. And then plus, it was pretty big. And for the projects that I have, I didn't need a big one. So I found this. This one was $9.99. And it says, pick and press your own flowers to create one of a kind pressed floral cards. It includes a wooden flower press, six pieces of corrugated paper, 10 pieces of blank pressing paper, uh, six blank cards, six craft envelopes, and easy to follow instructions. So let's see, let's see what this, what this looks like on the inside. I'm excited to use this because I do have flowers pressing right now. Oh, 
this is, that box is really cute too. But look at how cute. Okay, do I have to, yeah. I have to do this. Let's take the tape off. And see how this looks on the inside. I just got this, you guys. So if anybody's interested, you should try to, to um, look up your TJ Maxx stores and see. But let's see. This is really cute. I hope it works. Because that would... That would be so sad if it doesn't. So these are the cards. So these are just the cards. Uh, I don't like that they're glossy, so I don't know. We'll see. And I love the envelopes. These are really cute, the craft paper envelopes. So these, I guess, are the press sheets. Oh, okay. And so look at this. You have the cardboard, but multiple layers. So you can do quite a few in each layer and pro oh yeah okay yeah i really like this so you have plenty to press all at once that's really cool yeah i'm definitely gonna have to try that out and see how that works but i like it i like it a lot i'm not gonna try to put it all together right now but it's super cute too isn't that neat I love that. Okay, but that was definitely a cool find. Uh, that was all from TJ Maxx. Now from Amazon, I just got a couple things this time and I found this. I had this on my wish list forever and I just really never got around to getting it, but I really like it. I'm trying to see if there's something that I can put behind it so that you can see the stamps. So this one looks like a, like an advertisement kind of stamp. And then it has Edmit One. It's got like a little ticket stamp here. It looks, this looks like something that Tim Holtz would have on his field notes. So it's got like a little plant with some um, wording around it. This one looks like another little ticket. Another one that's like this down here. Some more little ticket stamps. These are cute because they're little another one here and then some little numbers down here the little round one so this is really pretty and this was only i believe 5.99 i want to say but um you guys know that for amazon i will definitely link everything down below so i only got a couple things but this is one i really wanted that and then i got this if anyone works on their phone recording their videos or anything that has to do with you know doing a lot of work on your phone i really really recommend this this is called a pocket keyboard and this one i bought in white and let me show you what it looks like so this this is uh shorter if you go this way it's shorter than my actual cell phone this is already folded in half i bought it in white and I already have it connected, so as soon as I open it, it's already connected to my phone. And I'm ready to go. And so I just stand my phone up on a stand, and then here I go typing away. And I absolutely love it. I am going to link it down below. It was, uh, I wanna say 30, $30? Around $30. And so, I th I'm thinking that for the compact part of it and then to be able to just kind of put it in my purse and let's go, I love this. And so with this, I can keep it in my crafting corner and you know, whenever I need it, I can pop it out. It's not a big deal and it's super convenient. I absolutely love it. It does come with the USB charging little thing. So I have the, I have it charging at night. So whenever I am um, typing up the description box in my videos or whenever I need to um, post new um, products on my Etsy shop, this is super easy and I love it. So again, I got it in white. They ca it comes in white and black, I think. It's just those two colors. 
And so, of course, I needed white, and I love it, guys. It's absolutely a good buy, especially because I do everything on my phone. I would love to be able to do um, get like a, I want to save up for either a, um, a what is it, a MacBook, you know, the laptop, the iPad, iPod, what, Apple laptops, or um, an iPad so that it's easier and then I can maybe get into editing my videos. <laughs> but I got this for now and I really love it. So now let's get into the nitty gritty of my Spellbinders haul. I bought these things on super clearance. If you guys are not subscribed to getting emails and notifications from them, I suggest that you guys do that because I received a notification that uh, they were having this spring uh, clearance sale. And so everything that I bought was super duper cheap. I checked again to see if they're still having it and unfortunately they're not, but they still do have sales going on. So I suggest you guys try and get those. So let me show you what I got. These are just little mini um, spools, wooden spools. And this, you guys, I, I, I didn't know exactly. They just said mini. I didn't know exactly how tiny they were, but I got 12 for a dollar. First of all, I love this little pocket thing. Is that the cutest thing? And look at this. They're itty bitty little spools. How cute are those? <laughs> I love them. And there, there were 12 pack for a dollar. So I got those, thought those were super cute. So, okay, I'm not gonna fiddle with that. Then I got this. I don't even have a hot plate, you guys. I actually, they have this in the hot foil plates and they also had them in the clear stamps. I meant to get the clear stamps and instead I got the hot foil plates. I don't even know how to, I've, I've never even heard of the hot foil plates. But anyways, I got this. This was only $3 and I'm super bummed that I ordered the wrong thing. And I tried to go back to see if they, and they do, they have the uh, clear stamps on sale, but they're like $10. And so I'm like, oh, I wonder if I can put this like some on some type of little foam pad and see if I can actually print you know like a stamp with these because they're they're pretty raised so i gotta try it and see but they're just little um it's called stitched alphabet but it's they're just little words and i just thought that they would be cute to kind of put on like little tags and stuff instead of using like those little uh sentiment um phrases or little stickers that they have i just thought that this would be really cute so it's got fearless terrific golden you are hilarious unique brilliant wonderful joyous magnetic so i just thought that this was really really cute and actually it says alphabet because it's got one for every letter of the alphabet so a adventurous b is brilliant c is captivating you get it so i just thought that this was really cute but I am gonna try it and see, just to see. It was only three bucks, so it doesn't really, I mean, I don't think it's worth me trying to return it, but we'll see. Then I got a bunch of Kathy Holden things, you guys. This, I didn't, this was not on sale, but I wanted this forever. And this is the Sign Here stamps. And I absolutely am obsessed. So this I've been wanting for a long time. Um, I did get a coupon, for, I think it was like for 20, 15 to 20% off, I forget. But it ended up coming out to maybe like uh, 10 to $12. And so I ordered this, and this was my whole reason for going on Spellbinders, because I really, really wanted this stamp set. So I got this, believe it was 10, $12. I think the original price was like $14.99 or something. So I got that. Then I found these and they're all kind of in the same, they all, they're all from her flea market finds. And so I just thought, you know what, let me get them. They were only $3, you guys. And this is, uh, this just says handle with care. This one has 11 stamps. Again, $3. I got this. 
Then this one is called Fancy Labels, again from the Flea Market Finds. This one has eight stamps. Thought this was super cute. I love that, isn't that pretty? This would be really cute to put on, a, on the back of a postcard. If you're making your own, that would be really cute. So anyways, there's that. And then I found this one, and again, from the Flea Market Finds, and this is just called Miscellany Words. And this is 14 stamps. And I just thought that these were really cool. So it's got provisions, special, home, a token of friendship, vintage, souvenir, blessings, friendship, mercantile, miscellany, family, original, journal, and fancy goods. Isn't that cute? For $3. You can't beat it. And then I found this, and this is also um, from Kathy Holden, the Flea Market Finds. And this is just the Neutrals palette sampler. And this one uh, is six by nine, 24 sheets. So you get 12 designs. So you get two of each. They are single-sided and they're pretty, they're pretty lightweight paper. But I just thought that this was really, really pretty. And I got this one for five dollars. The I don't remember what the original price was for the for this, but look at that. It's like a picture of a doily. I mean, like literally, it looks like if it's real. And here's just some script. This looks like like a canvas kind of burlapy fabric. <gasps> Cute. Look at that. That's pretty. Yeah, there's two in here. Come on. So you've got some more ledger. You've got the plain writing paper. Really cute. Oh, that's nice. Cute. These are stamps. See that? Very pretty. I love the neutrals of it. Then there's this one. Here's the wood, that's cute. This looks like it should have been like on a crate or something. That's really pretty. It's got a little bit of a stamping on that. And then here's this one, student's notebook. That's really pretty. Okay, so then it just repeats. So you got the same again. Yeah, but that's really pretty for five bucks. I just thought that that was a really good deal. So anyways, that's it, you guys. I am so happy with this order. I had kept, <laughs> I was tracking it down, making sure <laughs> that I was getting it. I was really, really excited to show you guys this, this really cool find. And again, if you guys are not subscribed to the Spellbinders um, website, subscribe to it. They'll send you guys a, a coupon and look up all of the, uh, if I can, link these and if they still have them i'll go ahead and do that i believe they're on sale just not for three dollars like they were before because they had a whole section of one dollar uh three dollars five dollars and ten dollars and i was like oh my gosh when i found all of these three for three dollars each i thought that was amazing and this was my whole reason why i got it but that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this haul I was super stoked to show you guys everything that I got and let me know what your favorite thing was and uh, and tell me if there's anything that I hauled here that you guys are going to be looking out for or wanting to maybe order yourselves. So um, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for those who have been sharing my videos. I do get notifications every time you guys share and I and I so appreciate that. I am still working on new dangles. Uh, I probably won't get them out this week, so it'll probably be by, the, by maybe the end of next week. So we'll see when I get that done, but I am working on that. Um, I do still have uh, one dangle left, and that's the Cinderella Midnight, which is the Cinderella Charms with the Navy Blue. So I'll link my Etsy shop down below if you guys are interested in getting that one because that's the only one that I have left. And other than that, I'll see you guys on Friday. Uh, don't forget on Friday, I'll have a craft with me video. I kind of have an idea, but I don't want to say because what if I change my mind by then? <laughs> so I'll see you guys on Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye.